All right, guys, so we just got these rods in from Sue Gay Lang. As you can see, they come in these nice packages right here. This one is the spinning reel, and then this one is the bait casting reel. So I'm open them up. I'm gonna show you how they look like. And then see, this one opens up, and it looks like that. And then the rod would be in here like this, inside this little pouch like this. This one will be my dad's rod. Yeah. And then uh, they have the rod, extendable rod, and they have the, the reel handle, and they also have the braided line. I think this is, this is 33 pounds. I don't know if you can see that, 33 pounds. They come with some lures and then i'll open the bait casting one and then for the bait casting one it comes in four pieces but they also have uh the telescopic rods in the bait casting model but i just chose uh the four piece right here this one is the same spinning reel uh but it just comes with an extra spool and it's basically the same thing so yeah we're gonna try these rods out this year see you guys on the water all right what's up guys so i'll be trying out this suge lang telescopic spinning rod now you see I got the little TRD net rig on there and all you gotta do is just extend it. You can extend it like that. And then you just line up the guides, just like this. And then you're pretty much done. There we go. All lined up. I got, for my main line, I have 33 pound braid, the one that came with it. And then I have 10 pound P-Line CX Premium as my leader. I put a long leader on there because uh, I retie a lot, so. Yeah, that's all I got. Just gonna cast it out there. We're out on the Sacramento River today, going for whatever bites, because everything will almost hit the Ned Rig. I caught stripers on this, I caught bass, I probably, I've caught plenty of fish on the Ned Rig, so anything will bite the Ned Rig. I'm gonna let it sink to the bottom and just work it along the bottom. This plays out. Oh, fish on. Fish on, baby. Fish on. Yep. Oh, uh, small one. Oh, yeah. It's a striper, baby. We got one. All right, let's get you released. Oh, came off already. Yep, right there you go. Got him. Let's get a, let's get a nice release. There you go. All right, let's get back. Oh, fish on, baby. Fish on. Fish on. Oh, yeah. We got him. Nice. Nice keeper, baby. That's how you do it. That's how you do it, baby. Perch re range right here on the 110. Let's get this out. Man, that's two in a row. Perch, perch re range colors doing dirt. There we go. That's what you get right here. Let's measure this guy. Good. Looks like an 18 to me. Yeah, he's a, he's 19. Oh, he's ready. He's ready. There you go. Oh, I got a little bass after it. <laughs> but he's probably no bigger than just the Ned Rig. What the heck? He's chasing after something that twice his size. All right, let's move down. There you go, I'm on. Bass. Woo. Acrobatics. Strong. Let's see, spotted bass, smallmouth. Looks like a 
Spotted bass. First fish on the suge lane. Not bad on the Ned rig. For the river, not a bad bass. Not a bad one. Look, he's got a little missing dorsal fin right there. That's good. Nothing in his mouth. All right. See you later, bud. Thanks for biting. There he goes. Hey, that's number one for the day. Hopefully there's more to come. Came on that TRD. There we go. Let's get back in there. He bit a little closer to shore, so I don't think I need to throw out too far, but just in case they're out deep. So all I'm really doing right now is I'm just throwing a little further out, not too far, because these fish should be these fish aren't too deep most of the time. And I'm just throwing down, counting to like 25, maybe 30, just to make sure it's on the bottom. And I'm just hopping it, and then I'm watching my line just in case they hit in the fall. And then I just hop it up again to let it fall to the bottom. I just keep doing that till I get back to me. Yeah. In the Sacramento River, you're not gonna get a lot of ton of big bass. It's not like the California Delta. You're not gonna get a ton of big ones, but a two pounder is actually a pretty big fish in here. So normally they're all about the size I just caught, about the size of that bass. But if you catch like a two, a two, three pounder, that's a pretty good fish right there. They don't get that big most of the time, but you will catch a lot though. This is more of a numbers than it is a size. There we go. Ooh, biggin. Oh, what a bit. Just a little guy. Felt bigger than that. Not a bad one though, for sure. Ooh, I got him in the eye. Sorry about that, bud. Didn't mean to get you there. There we go. Man, he felt way bigger than that underwater. So I'm taking off my line. Just a little dude. So I'm go. See you later, dude. There he goes. Cool. Might need to retie though. Get a couple more casts. Not a bad one. About the same size as the other one. All right, guys, we're gonna start switching spots. We're gonna move to a different spot. See you guys when we get there. Wow, a fish really hit on the way down. Someone's got it already. There we go. Oh, that's a nice one. Small mouth. Fatty. He was way out there. Oh, I had like five bites before him. Oh, he looked, he got a cry down his mouth. Strong little fella. Thanks, bud. Oh, stuck in my glove. Not bad. First cast on the Ned rig. Oh, man, they bite as soon as you hit the water. I threw it out there. You know, some, some of the little fish are already on it. Oh, got one. Striper. 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 Ah. Oh. Ah, there it goes. He came off. Just a little dude. A little striper. A little striper. Nothing too big. Oh, I got one on it. Got him. Another striper. Baby striper. Look at that. Baby striper. Hold still, buddy. There he goes. Little striper. Ah. There he goes. They have some pretty prickly fins, so I mean, I'd be careful when handling with them, especially the little guys. Their fins hurt. Oh, I got one on it. Got him. Man, this move, dude, another striper. striper yeah. Baby striper. It's probably like a little school of them out there. This guy ate it deep. On stock, 
Non-stop baby striper action right here, guys. All right, there you go. Came off. It's good for like a little tank. Little guy. See you later. All right, let's see if I can do this again. This is actually kind of fun. Ooh, came off. Oh, I'm on. Nice bass. Oh, not bad. Sure, I will take these guys all day. You don't catch much big ones like this out here on the river. Ooh, skinny. He's got. Oh, he's hurt on the tail. Little small mouth. Not bad. I will take it. I will take it. There we go. Man, he took that thing straight. Whoa. <laughs> Acrobatics. Not a bad guy. Yeah. Nice little bass. Eat on the outside. Yeah, dink fest, but man, this is fun. They eat it on the drop and everything. This nice guy right here. Got this one on the Ned rig. Not a bad one. Oh yeah, decent. Better uh, better size for sure. Small mouth. He bit when I was pausing it. I had my GoPro off for uh, cause of power. I needed to charge it for a little bit. Yeah, not a bad guy. A little small mouth. Let's see nothing in his mouth a little skinny all right let's let him go thanks bud what's up guy oh he's got it that was hecka cool he came out and <laughs> he came out and annihilated this crawdad. Holy smokes. Little guy. He came out, I don't know if you guys saw that. He came out and annihilated it this thing, man. That was crazy. Top water. Aggressive. I'm gonna keep throwing this netter for a little bit, see if I pluck off something a little bit bigger. If not, I'm gonna swap to the popper and we'll see what we can do. Little guy. Not catching anything too big really. Oh, one's on it. Oh, one's on it. Man. Oh, strong fish, strong fish. That was crazy. Oh, he's got a friend. He's got a friend. Nice. Definitely a decent one for the river. Man, he was on it as soon as I threw it in there. He, oh, look at that. He's got a crowd on his belly, you can tell. It's very fat. Oh, he's got it down his throat too. I don't know if you can see that. Crawdad eaters. That's why uh, this thing mimics crawdad real well. I cut off one pincher. I'm gonna let this guy go. There it goes. I cut off one pincher just to make it seem like, you know, it's easier to eat. Cause I guess I remember reading that two, instead of two pinchers, it's easier for them to eat a one pincher or no pincher crawdad. All right, we got the hula popper. Got this little small mouth right here, maybe about half a pound. That's a good size one on the popper. Sadly, uh, my GoPro actually ran out of battery. But you can see, not a bad one around the corner of the mouth. It's a good size. All right, let's let, this, let's let this guy go. All right, let's let this guy go. Man, he blew up on it. Oh, there you go. He's off now.